Welcome to all those on the stream that join us on the Harness Racing Victoria stream. Trial one, class six or better. All of tonight's trials, 2,240 metres from the mobile. Scratching of three, Delight Me in the first. One, Dickery, New Zealand Bread, Kate and Andy Gath and M1C6. Two, Modu Gatecrasher, New Zealand Bread, Jeff Webster, M1C7. Three is out. Four, Shadow Sack, Sydney Van Den Brand, Emma Stewart, M8C14. Set. Starter says go, the green light is on and they're off and racing and Shadow Sacks is the first one away from the tab.com.au mobile barrier out wide and he's going to go to the lead. So it's Shadow Sacks in front, led the way by three metres from in second place is Motu Gatecrasher and in third spot then was Dickery. So they go towards the back of the course on the first occasion with a lap and three quarters left to go. And the front runner is Shadow Sachs. He led the way by three metres as they go into the back straight. So it's Shadow Sachs in front. In second place is Modu Gatecrasher. And three metres away, third is Dickery. So along the back of the track they travel with only about eight metres from first to last. The first of the night is the fast class, a class six or better, running through the lead time in 46.5. And Shadow Sachs, winner of the South Australian Cup, also winner of the Horsham Pacing Cup, and uh, also the Geelong Cup, and he's probably won and also the Stall Cup as well from memory last season. And he leads the way by three metres. Was a scratching at the last minute from the Breeders' Crown Free for All at the end of last season. He's obviously going to be one of the big chances for the uh, upcoming Inter Dominion Series here in about three months' time. Into the front straight by three metres. Modu Gatecrasher in second spot and Dickery third, 1,200 metres left to go. Shadow Sachs does it as he likes. The first quarter of the last mile in 31.5. Shadow Sachs in front, led the way by four metres. Modu Gatecrasher in second place, and Dickery is three metres away third. So they go to the bottom turn going out of the straight, and the front runner is Shadow Sachs. He led the way. Shows by three and a half metres. Modu Gatecrasher up in second spot and three and a half metres then to Dickery third. Past the 800 metres, the second quarter in 30.4, 61.9 the first half of the last mile by three metres Shadow Sacks. In second place, Modu Gatecrasher in the red and yellow. And then in third place, three metres away is Dickery. Off the back, a half lap to go. Shadow Sacks in front, he's done it as he likes. He leads the way off the back straight by three and a half metres. From in second place, Modu Gatecrasher. And third, three metres away is Dickery. Past the 400 metres. Nothing's happened here. 29.1 the third quarter. Into the home straight. Shadow Sacks ready for a last two furlong dash. Led the way by three metres. On Modu Gatecrasher second. Six metres, Dickery third. So at the moment... They're in the class order in the straight. Shadow Sacks holds Modu Gatecrasher five metres. Goes towards the Garrard's horse and out sprint lane. But Shadow Sacks is going to go on and lead all the way as it expects. And Shadow Sacks first wins by six metres. Second Modu Gatecrasher, ten away, third Dickery. Eyes on the clock, 26.5 the fourth and final quarter. You wouldn't expect anything uh, less. The last half mile of 55.6. The middle half was 59.5. And the Elder Baron Park mile rate was 157.9. So finishing in first position, horse number four, Shadow Sachs, in the Van den Prand in the Sulky. Second two, Modu Gatecrasher, Jeff Webster. Third one, Dickery Kate Gath. Emma Stewart, the trainer of the winner. And has been able to score. South Australian Cup winner. As I say, of course, the Inter-Dominion in Melbourne this year, the 2018 Inter-Dominion at Mel Cranbourne, Ballarat at Melton. And obviously, he's going to be one of the main chances, especially with a lot of the um, big names well, not uh, being in the series, I suppose, is the way to put it. And at present, Shadow Sachs for the Inter-Dominion is $11 on tab fixed odds. And for the Victoria Cup, He's 7.50. He wins. 4-2-1 uh, the placings. Now, the race time was 2.44.1. Lead time of 46.5. 2.44.1 the gross. Lead of 46.5. The mile rate, 157.9. The quarters of the final mile. The first quarter, 31.5. Second quarter, 30.4. 29.1 the third quarter. The fourth and final quarter of 26.5. So in order, the quarters of 31.5, 30.